Okay, you're live. Hey everybody, Maggie and Mage here. If you follow me on Instagram, that's my handle, Maggie and Mage. And I'm also joined by my assistant. Hi. Who I'm forcing <laughs> into the shot, nasty hair. So today I'm gonna be talking about the perfect base and why that is so important. Here is my beautiful model. I pre-lightened her for you, but I'm gonna talk about kind of what I did. So she started out these are her roots that she started out with. They were overgrown because she couldn't get in right braided. They were a little bit long and then her ends were a little bit brassy. So what I did is I went in with Blonde Me 9 Plus and 7 volume on her roots and applied that with cotton in between and let it sit for 40 minutes. And then I bleach washed her ends with blonde me and clay with seven volume as well on wet hair but before i got started i did the blonde me detox system which is going to remove any impurities from her hair and make it overall a lot easier to lift so that was my process for that and then our desired result today let me pull this up is this natural highlighted look while still maintaining a global. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a root going on. It looks super natural, but it's light enough that I'll be able to keep her as a bleach retouch to maintain maximum blondness. So here, come in and get some detail shots of this lift because it looks really good. So the reason why I'm doing this is because we recently did a campaign called All About That Base where me and some of my really good friends all got together and did a campaign based on that. And the reason that we all wanted to do that with Schwarzkopf Professional is because you guys know that your base is the foundation of everything for your balayages, for your bleach outs, for your vivid colors, whatever it is, the base is so important. It has to be perfect. So today we're going for a very blonde but rooted look and she's all prepped and ready for that. I'm gonna go over my formula. Emma, do you wanna read the formula? Sure, I will. <laughs> so close. for her roots, um, I mixed up 50 grams of biscuit and then 10 grams of milk chocolate. A chocolate biscuit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then on her ends, we're just gonna do ice. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Emma and I are going to get going on this. And while we do that, I'm going to talk about my sectioning. So as you can see here, I sectioned off this little tiny veil. And this is a technique that I stole from this guy, Be Seen. I don't know if you know him. I think he's pretty cool. But this is my modified version of that to make it look like natural. So I'm sectioning this off. And then on the side sections here, I'm also going to leave these out right here. So this is going to be her face framing. And then this top mohawk section part is going to be her highlights on this underneath section here. Get some like satisfying videos of me coming this. On this underneath section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the root down further and then apply my ends. And then on this top part, I'm going to apply the light color all over and the sides, the top and the sides. I'm going to apply the light color all over on both of those. And then I'm going to go back on top of this and do a smaller root. So the light color is going to dilute that root a little bit so that the top and the sides is lighter. And then when she parts it, it's going to gently lay over this darker root and create the illusion of highlights. Does that make sense, guys? Here, come on over here, Ella. Does that make sense, Brayden? <laughs> so I'm going to go in and apply this root. Oh. I actually have a really a quick tip for you guys that's really great. You might have seen it on my TikTok. So this is a chalk marker. And what I do is I write 
roots or ends or whatever or whatever formula I have going on so that I don't make the mistake of putting the wrong color in the wrong spot. And want to know why? Because I did that one time and it sucked really bad. So that's a quick extra bonus tip. All right, you can grab. I twist this pretty tight and I pin it and just let it hang into their face. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but they're going to be just fine. Let me come in here and get a close up on these roots. For this part, I'm going to use my regular Framar brush, the classic one. I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite. Going in and outlining these sections. I also love this technique and this placement because it can be used with so many different colors. It really just gives like the perfect illusion of highlights. Like if you have one of those clients that's just like, it's never blonde enough, no matter how many foils you do. I actually suggest doing a bleach out and then doing a faux root on top of it. And I personally feel like that is almost less damaging than trying to do a whole bunch of foils. I'll turn her a little bit so you can see. So I'm going to drag this root down pretty far. I like to start top, bottom to top. I just feel like it's a little bit cleaner. I do that for my bleach retouches as well. Oh, I already love the way that this is processing. It looks really, really good. Pulling it down. You wanna work quick too, because the faster you go, the better your colors will blend together. So now that I have the root on this section, I'm gonna go right in with my ends formula so that before it has time to process all the way, I can mix them together right in that mid so that I don't get any harsh lines. And then for this part, I'm using my emperor brush if you haven't tried it yet, I strongly recommend. It really helps you get toner on fast. It takes a minute to get used to, but it's really amazing. Being aggressive, working that color in. I like to work horizontal for the root and then I go back in vertically for the ends. There's something so satisfying about watching hair process. And I know all you hairstylists out there feel the same. I love the Blonde Me toners because they have a bond builder built into them already. And they're also like super, super creamy. We mix both of these with seven volume too. So that really helps for control. that. Have any of you guys tried the Blonde Me toners yet? Or do any of you guys use the Blonde Me lightener? If you have any questions for me, let me know. Huh? Hey Maggie, yeah. why is this on wet hair? Okay, that is actually a great question. So I like to apply my toners on wet hair because it, first of all, it dilutes the formula a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit more gentle. And also, it's going to help me to move through the hair a lot faster. And then, it also provides a better blend because it adds fluidity to the hair. On dry hair, it might turn out a little bit more harsh. Of course, you can do it on dry hair, but I'm not trying to achieve any type of gray coverage. This is the toning line. So, I'm choosing to do it on wet hair. But... What's the formula you're using? The number one reason why I do it on wet hair is because it's fast and we got things to do, right? Us hairstylists are very busy. We got other clients. So it's the blend and the speed. So the formula again is on the roots. We did 50 grams of the Blonde Me Toning Biscuit 
and 10 grams of the milk chocolate with um, the Blonde Me 7 volume, which has a built-in bond builder in it. And then on these ends, I'm going in with ice, Blonde Me toning ice. So it's going to be a really gentle, rooted, natural looking blonde, but the root isn't going to be so dark that I'm not going to be able to convert her back to platinum or whatever else she wants. If you guys um, have ever been on my page, you might have seen uh, the dip dye. It was a long time ago, but Brayden was my model for that. Sweet. Sweet. What's been your favorite look, Brayden, that we've ever done? Definitely the dip dye or, oh, the blue in the front. Oh. So it's like the mushroom color. Yeah, that was lit. Here, let me turn her so that you guys can see. Dragging that root down further. Thank you, Bima. Mm -hmm. I do this application a lot. This placement is is really popular. Hayden, actually, the one that's videoing this, has this, this application. Say hi. Turn the phone around on you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> that was the picture she showed. Yes, Hayden is the inspo. She is the photo that we showed. Okay. I don't know what it is, guys, but you really don't need no man. You just need to watch color process because that is some sexy shiz. Yeah. Working my way through, making sure that I'm saturating a lot. I also love that I can get her to such a high level really safely because of all the bond builders mixed in. I think my favorite thing about Blonde Me is that I don't have to use any high developers. I mostly use um, 7 or half 7, half 20. Super gentle with a lot of power. What more could you ask for? And then the Blonde Me Detox is something that I, I can't live without. I remember when they first came out with it, I was a little bit confused by the product because you mix it with a conditioner. So I was I was a little bit sus. But now I like I literally can't live without it, right Emma? Yep, we use it all the time. And it's the best thing ever on It is the best thing ever. <laughs> We'd be doing it to our own hair even though we're not even coloring it. If you have a client that's been in the pool or whatever, doing all the things that you ask them not to do, like using Pantene. Or they haven't washed their hair in forever and they come in. Yes. <laughs> Pulling this root down. Another great thing um, about applying it wet is the speed. I already said that, but that really is the best part. And it's more satisfying to look at. So something else that's going on is for the All About That Base campaign, we have decided to do some really crazy giveaways that you guys, you're gonna die. We are getting close on this so that they can watch while I talk. Um, so four winners will win a year supply of Blonde Me, which is a $3,000 value. I'm like, can I enter this competition? Okay. And it also includes a virtual coaching with either me, Be Seen, Danilo, or Leslie Jennison. And Leslie Jennison is my idol. So if I won that competition, I would pick her. Be seen is great, but she knows what she's talking about. So if you want more information,
just visit behindthechair.com and search all about that base so that you can get all of the details on how to enter that competition. I'm excited. I'm excited for that too because I want to see all your guys' work. Help me apply these bands. Now I'm going to go in vertical. All about the speed. Getting it on there to make sure that the colors can melt nicely together. If you guys try this placement technique with whatever colors you want, please tag me so that I can see your guys' beautiful work. Mm. This looks edible. Are you laughing at us, Brayden? People that aren't hairstylists, I feel like they like think that we're so weird when we're looking at color because we're so obsessed with how it processes. Okay, it does look so good. After we're done with the back, I can't wait to show you guys my little tips for up at the top. And then also, after this, I'm gonna be posting the after pictures on my story on my Instagram on Maggie MH if you wanna go and check that out. And then I'm sure um, Behind the Chair is also gonna post the results somewhere for you guys to see. Applying this quickly, gotta get that blend. Really working it into the mids right where those two colors meet. I like to be a little bit aggressive with the hair when I'm applying toner. What does this look like when it fades out a little? What does this look like when it fades out a little? I think that because these toners are so sheer, it just goes back to a pretty light, like sandy blonde, back to like the original base, maybe a little bit cooler than that. But this root shade formula is great because once again, it's not going to be something that is going to be hard for me to break through if she wants to be solid blonde again. So what I would do when she comes back is I would lighten her roots with the same formula that I used, which was Blonde Me and 7 Volume. And then while it was wet, I would go in and remove the remainder of this root shade with Clay and 7 Volume and a little bit of the Blonde Me shampoo to make a little bleach wash. But I think that this root color will be sheer enough that it will fade out to the point where I will not have to do a bleach wash on her. I feel like if as long as you stay at around like a level seven, you're not gonna have to worry about that toner being able to come out. It's when you start going into like the level sixes, fives, on a bleach out where it might be a little bit difficult to get it out. If that were the case, then I would go ahead and use Blonde Me. This is looking real good. Damn, we slayed that, we did that so fast, high five. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's check this out so far just so you guys can see how well this is toning versus how it started. It's really cutting through that yellow. I'm super impressed with that. All right. Now that that's finished, I'm going to grab my mesh. It's on that tray. Will you grab that for me, Emma? Yeah, baby. This is really impressive for a demi toner to provide this much coverage for how for how much yellow was remaining in her hair. All right, so I'm gonna take four pieces of Framar mesh, or three actually, and I'm gonna take it 
and place it right here. And then the same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna do one on the back. What's the toner again? So for those of you just tuning into this, I'm teaching how to do a natural highlighted look on a global bleach out. My formula for her root was 50 grams of biscuit in the Blonde Me toning line and 10 grams of milk chocolate. And on the ends is just ice. And that is with the Blonde Me 7 volume um, at a one to one ratio. Okay. Will you apply the ends formula to that and that side? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going in on with the ends formula and I'm not doing the roots first. I'm just applying the ends formula straight to the root and I'm gonna pull it all the way down her ends. And I'm doing this on both sides and then also on this little top section here. It's gonna be our faux highlights. And I'm so excited for you guys to be able to see the results of this because I really feel like it's something that you can absolutely use every day in the salon. And you can choose your own shades too. Whatever you want to use. <laughs> Whatever you want to use as long as it's Blonde Me or Schwarzkopf Vibrance. The goat. Do people still say the goat? Sometimes. Um, Sometimes, like, you just ironically. <laughs> <laughs> like the, whoa. the what? Whoa, means like you're the worst. Like the worst. The whoa, the worst of all time? Yeah, that's Oh my hell. gosh, mm -hmm. that's horrible. I don't want to ever be called that. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that's brutal. I didn't know about that. Yeah. But now I'm going to use it. <laughs> you can instantly see this starting to work. Starting to tone really nicely here. Get it on focus. Yeah. Okay, so now that that is all applied, I'm gonna go back in with my root color. So the reason why I am doing the ends color all over first and then putting the root on top of it as supposed as opposed to what I did here where I put the root on first and then I put the ends on is because this is going to this ends formula is going to dilute my root formula so it's going to make it slightly less harsh around her face to make sure that we maintain that brightness I'm just going to go in And I'm gonna do a little root tap. Not as far as I did on the back. Moving as quickly as I can, feathering that down a little bit. Nice. So that's just gonna lighten up that root shade a little bit so it's lighter on her face. I'm gonna have Emma do the same thing on the other side. And for this top section, this mohawk section, I am going to divide it. Can I have a wet brush? Do you have any wet brush? This way so we can get some better light. Is that good, Hayden? Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in, take this mohawk section. I have tail comb, let me see. Oh, she's this is okay. And I'm gonna divide this right in half. This side's gonna go here. Don't 
Does her part go right down the Mohawk section? Yes, that is where her part is. If somebody is like a die hard part on the side person, then you would shift this section to be where her part lies. That is a really good question. But generally the middle is like a really safe ground for that. I'm gonna go in, divide this. And then on this top part, I'm gonna be really, really subtle with how far down I apply this root. Just a little tap up here. Feather it down a little. I like to divide the top section of my mohawk just into two instead of three, like doing one on each side and then one in the back because I feel like it's a lot faster save you some time feather that ooh i hope you guys are loving this so far because i am now i'm going to come over here I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Working on a little bit more of the ends right there. The reason why I'm a little bit aggressive when I apply the toner is that I feel like it's like working it into the cuticle and also generating like a little bit of heat to hopefully help it process. Tap, little tap, nothing crazy. Got to make sure that it's less than this underneath part. I'm actually going to lay this this way so that I can show you guys the underneath of one side. Light tap. Okay, now I'm going to take this off so you guys can see how this is processing. So again, I just want to tell you guys about the importance of creating the perfect base for whatever it is, platinum, natural blonde, vivids, balayage, it all starts with the base, which means it all starts with the lightener. My lightener of choice is definitely Blonde Me. Someone just asked, is this toner on toner? Toner on toner. Yes. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by toner on toner, but if you mean that both of these formulas are a toner, then yes. That's exactly what it is. It's processing really nicely. I'm going to let this sit for approximately... 20 minutes and then I'm going to shampoo her with the Blonde Me. Let me turn her a little bit, sorry. The Blonde Me All Blondes shampoo and conditioner. And I am so excited for you guys to see the after. And don't forget to go check out those giveaways, the contest, because it's $3,000 worth of Blonde Me and a one-on-one -on -one opportunity to have a online coaching um, gig with one of us. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed it. Woo.